So, hello guys and welcome to this week's tutorial. In this one I'm going to show you how to make this really cool abstract fluid simulation and it just looks like popsicle, I don't know. It's really fun, it's really easy to make. Let's get right into it. So, I'm going to start off with an empty blender scene. So I'm going to select everything, delete it, and then I'm going to shift it, add in an icosphere. Let's give myself an icosphere. Right click, go into edit mode, right click, subdivide, click here, increase the smoothness, and give it an extra number of segments, and shade smooth, just for the heck of it. We don't really need it to be shaded smooth, but it doesn't matter. Now I'm going to right click on this, and actually now I'm going to go here into the object, and we're going to see here, quick effects, and I'm going to press quick smoke. Then I'm going to grab both these, grab them on the Z and hold control. Um, grab it on the Z and hold control, just so that it's touching our floor. And I'm going to scale it up on the Z, uh, just our domain. I'm going to scale it up on the Z, grab it up, and just something like that seems pretty good to me. Okay, now we're uh, going to go into the physics tab for the ball and we're going to change from flow behavior of inflow to geometry and we're going to go back into the domain and we're going to give ourselves a resolution of 64 and what else add in just click the noise give ourselves 180 frames and also here 180 frames and now really important step is we're going to have to put this into the cache file into here into I'm, I made a separate file called smoke cache and you have to make two separate files it's really important so make one called smoke cache and then make one called liquid cache and just press it there and just uh, hit the press here to on and then press bake all so now it's going to bake this and I'm going to come back to you as soon as that is ready so now just finished uh, baking so we have this smoke simulation here so the smoke just rises and goes up to the top that's pretty much all we have and all we need so what i'm gonna do now is rename these so we have already smoke domain given to us and i'm just gonna call this smoke geom or smoke geometry and i'm gonna click on both of these and shift d to duplicate so we get a duplicate and i'm gonna rename these to uh liquid geom liquid with and the other one to liquid domain okay so liquid domain so now we've got these go into the domain settings and now we want to change the cache to be in our uh, fluid cache this time and then press accept and now we can only free everything so press free all now if you do not uh press free all without it being in the other file it's going to delete your smoke domain so basically what we're using is we're going to be using the smoke domain as a guide for our liquid so let's change the domain type to liquid and then the liquid uh, geometry change the flow behavior to liquid also and go into wireframe mode so you can see everything again and now we can do a couple things so here we're going to change our resolution to uh resolution divisions to 96 the Time scale, we're gonna uh, animate it. So we're gonna add a keyframe on frame one on zero, on frame 40 at, uh, so it's gonna be 0.3 on frame 40. And on the last 30 frames, we're gonna start decreasing again. So we go, we add another keyframe and go to the last frame and give ourselves zero again. And now uh, let's just do a couple things here. Add in, click on mesh. To just add in that, add in a guide and select guide parent as our smooth domain. And for diffusion, we're going to click this and change this to honey. And that's it. And now just uh, bake our data. So I'm going to change this to modular first so we can bake this first and then the next part. So I'm just going to start baking now. Oh, no, no. My bad. My bad. My bad. Um, go back into the guides and you have to change some settings here. So before we get get this done we just have to change this to 2.5 so that's gonna show how much the liquid simulation is gonna lag behind and change this to the velocity factor to 12. that's what works for me and if you follow according to what i did it should work for you so i'm just gonna press bake now and i'm gonna get back to as soon as it's done baking so now that i've baked both my mesh and the 
general settings, we have this animation. So it starts off as a ball and then it slowly goes up and follows our smoke and then goes into like a splashy motion and then slows down again. So that's basically what we want to see. Okay, now I'm just going to go into this tab and enable the render option. So we're going to disable the smoke uh, and the smoke domain here in the renders and also the liquid domain, no, uh, liquid geometry. And so all we have left is this. That's what we want to see right now. Okay, pretty good. We can go back into solid mode and look at this. If you guys want a little bit higher quality, you can increase the resolutions divisions here. Uh, but just for the sake of a tutorial, kept them at 96, but you can bring them up to like 120, 150, and it's just going to look crisp as hell. So, uh, now let's just uh, get our camera positioned. So, we see that it collides over walls over here, so I just want to pick an angle somewhere behind this, so that um, I can just look at this straight ahead. So, I'm just going to press Control alt 0 uh, Shift-A, I'm going to add in a camera first, and I'm going to press Control alt 0 and just move this into position and um let's see let's see um uh, just move this in and i'm gonna give myself a focal length of 30. i'm gonna give myself a keyframe on the first frame i'm just gonna move it in a little bit grab on the z so let's now uh add in our popsicle stick so i'm just gonna get myself a cylinder I'm going to scale it on the Z, uh, shift Z, Z, so shift Z, so it won't scale on the Z like that. Scale it up on the Z a little bit, grab it, move it down to here, scale it, shift Z a little bit, and then grab it up. Okay, and then I'm just going to backslash, and I'm going to go into edit mode. I'm going to select this face, and I'm going to select the bottom face. Yeah, and then hit X and delete the faces. Okay, just tap out of that mode. Give this a solidify modifier. I'm just gonna bring it up a bit. Add myself a bevel modifier. Give myself a couple segments. Bring this in a little bit. Add the angle, the limit method to angle, shade the smoke, and just start editing this out. So I'm gonna give myself a couple more segments and just get some nice things going on here. So now this looks pretty good to me. I just, I need to change this a little bit. One second. Okay. Something like this seems good. Yup. Okay. So now we've got this and we can backslash again. And now it's inside our popsicle. Okay. Perfect. So let's just add some lighting and some layout here. So I'm going to add a plane, grab it on the Z, bring it down here, and I'm going to scale it up. Oh, not that much. Scale it up a bit and tap into edit mode. Uh, press to extrude this on the Z, bring it up quite a bit. It doesn't really matter how much you bring it up. Tap on edit mode, edit mode, add in a bevel modifier, increase the amount, add some segments and shade smooth. I'm going to rotate on the Z so that it matches with our camera. I'm going to scale it on the X along its uh, normal. So scale it on the uh, across the view, my bad, scale it on the X and scale it on this Z. I'm actually just going to grab this bit actually. Uh, hmm. Grab this on the Z a little bit and that's it. Okay. So now let's add some lighting to this and let's shade this. So this can be done in EV and in cycles. Uh, but I'm gonna, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm gonna do this in Eevee, but I'll give you some tips for cycles also. So add in a light, every light, grab it on the Z, and go into the light settings, change it to a disc, scale it up a bit, give it a strength of around 800, and grab it on the Z a little bit, because we're gonna have the sprays going upwards. So let's just move it out of the way, scale it up a bit. I'm gonna duplicate one more time, rotate it and just bring it around somewhere like here so it's gonna be adding some backlight okay uh but as you can see our camera is not in the perfect position throughout the whole animation so we're gonna have to animate the camera so go to frame one it seems pretty good it's positioned pretty well so go into the last frame and what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna give myself a focal length of 50 here 
and add a keyframe and just go back and add keyframes on the camera for the rotation and the location. And let's go to the last frame again. And then let's give ourselves a nice look at this. R on the, I'm gonna rotate this on the X. Zoom out a bit, grab on the Z. Zoom out a bit, grab on the Z. Just give myself a nice positioning. And so now if I insert my keyframes, we will have our camera moving from this position and throughout the whole animation, it's gonna follow the way our liquid flows. So now let's shape this. Um, yeah, let's go into shading step and give ourselves rendered mode. And here I wanna go into the environment tab and change the color from color to environment texture. And I'm gonna open up an HDRI that I've uh, downloaded. I'm gonna link uh, it in the description. So just go to HDRI Haven and you'll find this HDRI. So let's select our, uh, our domain, our liquid domain, and delete for principled BSDF that it gives us. And shift A, add in a principled BSDF, add in a glass BSDF, and plug that into the surface. And shift A, add in a mix shader, plug that into here, plug to that into there and add in a uh, layer weight layer weight so choose a facing plug that into a factor and change the blend to 0.3 and now we can uh, increase the IOR to 1.5 and the color we're gonna change it to like nice pinkish color and then I'm just gonna select the hex control C and plug that into the color of a principal BSD up here control V and I'm going to decrease the roughness on the principal BSDF, increase maybe the specular a little bit, and now shift it, add in a normal, uh, a bump node, I'm sorry, uh, shift it, add in a bump node, plug the bump into the normal, shift it, add in a color ramp, plug the color ramp into the height, and now shift it, add in a noise texture, noise texture, plug the color into the factor, and then press Control T if you have no granular enabled, and if you don't, go into Edit, Preferences, and search in the um, Add-ons, search Node Wrangler, and you're supposed to have it, and just click, click this tick mark, and it should bring it back. So, now we're just gonna increase the scale of our noise texture to around something like 15, and I'm just gonna bring this color ramp in somewhere here, and bring this a little bit closer, and then just decrease the strength down a bit, and here it has to be object into the vector. So now we're supposed to see the texture come up. Just give it a second. Yeah. And let's just add a strength a bit and just make it a little softer. Something like this. So we just want some deformation on the popsicle. Okay, pretty good. Um, so I'm just gonna duplicate this again. So control C, and I'm gonna add it as a new texture to our popsicle stick. So I'm gonna press control V and I'm gonna grab this and plug this in i'm gonna increase the scale up a bit and bring this in a little bit and now we can see that in our popsicle stick we have this kind of texture going on okay so if we go into rendered mode uh, and decrease the strength here 0.5 if we go into rendered mode uh maybe one is was good so if we go into render mode we have this and legit, at this point, this is our whole animation. We just need one more material for the ground. Just make it a bit lower roughness, increase the specular, and that's about it. So we have finished the animation. If you want just for EV uh, blue, at uh, screen space reflections, and color management to very high contrast. And now this looks really poppy, and it just looks amazing. But if we go into EV, into cycles, this already looks really good. And maybe if you guys want, uh, just add a little bit more um, stronger light so we can see the object in the middle and then that's it, just render it out. So let's go into the exporting tab, select the file called whatever, file format as FFmpeg, encoding as MP4, and output quality as perception lossless. And if you hit the control F12, you're gonna render out an animation that looks something like this. And yeah, so guys, 
that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, and um, I hope I'm going to see you in the next one. If you guys enjoy my content, please look at more of my videos. We're going to be up top here. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Hit the sub button. Hit the like button. Uh, it all helps out the channel. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.